It's a pretty wet day today. I don't know how much I'm going to get planted before the rain starts to fall. I'm going to concentrate on this area. Pull up the radish, put in basil. I've got more herbs to put in. I really want to seed the rutabaga and the kohlrabi in the ground. Alright, there is a lull in the mowing next door, so I just want to get this out of the way real quick. I hate saying things and then never getting to it. But plants whose stems you can bury. We got eggplant, tomatoes, cauliflower, peppers, broccoli, spinach, chilies, potatoes, cucumber, and I added ginger in there. It's like potatoes. You don't want to expose the tuber. But I am going to get planting. I don't have much time. It's very cloudy and rain's coming in eventually. And then I'm going to lose tomorrow, Saturday, because it's going to be raining supposed to for the majority of the day and we're also out the majority of the majority of the day. So I have to get quite a bit planted today if I want to be on track for myself. So I'm going to put the established um, kohlrabi close to this yarrow because I'm sure there's slugs hiding under there and the more established plants will suffer less than if I put seeds in the ground and then they'll just be wiped out. I'm going to do some weeding. Um, got plenty of volunteer tomatoes but we know how many tomatoes we already have, so we won't be letting any volunteers come up. I'm probably going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of each. So I'll have plenty of kohlrabi left over to just throw in a pan. A pan. <laughs> or give to the chickens. pick some nice specimens and there's actually like three or more um, plants per container here so I'm just gonna let them do their thing Let me not forget the mycorrhizal Yep, I see a roly-poly right there. There's nice worms in here. So the good thing about the rain is that I don't have to water. And the water and the soil is already moist. Hmm, I got a pupa of something. Maybe you know what that turns into? Save it or kill it. Let me put this somewhere so I can assess it later. Alright, let me just fast forward you to the end of this planting. Neither lines or spacing, um, also weak points for me, so I got nine in, very close together, um, in some spaces. But that's nine, and then a little bit of an angle there, but it'll work out. Alright, on to the rutabaga, which will take up a little section over here. I 
I think this is the first seed I'm going to be sowing. No, well, that's not true. We sowed the carrots and beets. But that was a while back. Oh, I've sowed um, sunflowers. Right. I've sown sunflower seeds recently. But other than that, since this is seed, I really want to loosen up the soil, fluff it up. And get it kind of level. I'm also going to add the mycorrhizal now. And I'm going to grab, I have a little bit of granule fertilizer left. I'm going to throw some in, sprinkle some in here. at least. I'd like to get more, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to drop three seeds per hole. I want to make sure I get something come up. I'm not taking any chances with the bootabagas. I really want to eat some of this later in, in the year. Yeah, rutabaga is definitely one of those vegetables I never knew anything about until I started learning how to garden. And having it mashed like mashed potatoes was plenty delicious. Let's cover them up. I mean, I could have started this, you know, indoors like everything else, but it's one of those plants that are said to not like transplanting. And it says to direct so after last frost. So, you know, I'm trying to follow some of the rules. Now we will be pulling radish out. See what we got. Pull them in clumps. Oops, that never came to anything. <laughs> Look how much leaves that is. Teeny tiny fruit. that were not off. Alright, now just some weeding. Weeding, weeding, weeding. Alright, now we got our basil. It's a variety pack. There's um, Genevieve, dark opal, Thai basil, and lemon balm. Lemon, lemon basil, it's not lemon balm. <laughs>
All right, so it's nice and easy. Next, here's our little harvest of beet, uh, beets, radish. Uh, I don't know, what am I gonna do with these? I hear pickling them might be an option. They're so tiny, oh my gosh. I don't know, we'll see. This space had tomatillo galore and there's still tomatillo volunteer galore that I've been pulling up every other day. Um, also some cherry tomatoes, seedlings, but they cannot be here. I think this is borage I'm gonna leave here unless it's that other weed, but we'll see. Leave it there. But otherwise I'm pulling up all the volunteer plants that we don't want here. They have other places to be. Oh, this just shows how fertile this particular space is. Look how gigantic. This was the last piece peas sowed and they are just gigantic compared to the other trellis. They haven't flowered yet because they were sowed late, much later, but they are giant. This is what my peas should always look like. So note to self, make sure the ground over there and this also gets a lot more sun, so I don't know. I can't do much about that. I have limited spaces with beautiful sunlight. But I should definitely work on the soil because this is just going to have beautiful yields of peas in a few weeks. But all right, back to... I'm going to plant out the rest, not all of them. I'll, um, I'll plug these in elsewhere. Parsley, dill... I might have a cilantro in there, I'm not sure, but just going to thin out this batch a little bit more for today. And I got two dills. Nope, that's an asparagus. Where's the other dill? Oh, oh my god, I'm losing it. And then I have one, two, three parsley and one cilantro. I have several more parsley, a sad little baby dill, but I'll either just plop that somewhere else or give it to my in-laws. I have this little lone green ground cherry. I might put it in a pot, just let it grow out. All right, that leaves me with a few little rows. I could either put more rutabaga in or something else. I'm gonna go through what other plants I have left to plant if I forgot anything and I'll decide what will go in this little three foot space here. The last push for the day will be sunflowers. These were mostly snacking. I have no idea what varieties they are now but they were the snacking really big seeds, big flower heads. I already started uh, two days ago I plugged in some that I had soaked in water and allowed to sprout. So I threw the seeds just really close together and I've already sprinkled them pretty good length of the, um, the driveway here. What is that? 12 feet? 10 to 12 feet already? So I need to prep the weeding and raking and prep the rest of the length of the driveway. Gosh, 50 feet or so. And then sprinkle in the rest of the seeds. That's for... I'm going to take a break. I'll come back to that in a little bit. I weeded several hundred thousand weeds. Yeah. And trees, maple, oak, tulip, you name it. It's trying to grow. And I found something obnoxious. Let me see if I can find it again. Yep, there it is. Little bugger. There's one of my garlic planted over here. It's so cute. Do I put it back in the ground? I mean the little bulbules might grow back, right? Well, let me put it somewhere where I actually know what will come up. But now is time to put the seeds in. So I have maybe, I don't know, 100 seeds. I don't know how far 
that will get me down the line or depending on how close or far I space them plus I gotta cover these up real quick or birds and then tomorrow I'm gonna have to deal with whatever got dug up yes yeah, so I want these pretty close together because I think that'll be prettier and in the real world plants are not evenly spaced out and they'll also support each other better when they're closer together plant something else in this space all right I think that's all the gardening I'm gonna film for today I promised some people I'd play dolls later so I gotta rest up for that <laughs> I'll talk to y'all soon bye look what I spied can you see that thread it's some kind of spiders very tiny 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 and a whole lot of them That's very cool. But anyway, it's a, it's a known fact that the only way to encourage rain is by watering your plants. So, I sprinkled some loose soil over the seeds and just so it doesn't all just wash away when the rain comes. I'm just moistening it down.